Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Mid-Century Model Works. Um, still a little under the weather. Um, had the flu now for about two weeks, but I st still been trying to tough it out and fight it out and you know the whole deal. Anyway, today is the big day of the USAC group build reveal day. So today's the 14th. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you the Liberace. Here is the Liberace in the completed stage. We've got the piano keys for the running boards. Got our baby moons. Got her all blinged out right there. Let's see if I can focus in on this interior. Got our steering wheel. Got our scratch built shifter. We've got the jewels on the dashboard. And like I said, I'm not I'm not happy with the paint job on this thing uh, and I need to make an apology I'm not blaming splash paints because I think the paint is a very good paint except the only problem was me I think there was probably something I didn't do right um, because I know of other people who use splash paints and have an absolutely gorgeous paint job and like I said the hood on this thing is splash paint and it turned out perfect and there are certain parts of the body but especially back here on the back you can see the etching see all that and there is some on the, the clear coat uh, as soon as that clear coat hit it it started etching in places and I'm not blaming Splash. It's just I'm sure it's something that I didn't do. So that is a that's a uh, a bucket seat out of a out of the scrap bin. I like the pattern on it. Uh, I just thought it was pretty neat and added the dark blue highlights down in the weave. And then onto the trailer here. Ooh, come on, baby, focus. There we go. Okay, here's the trailer. Let me slide her out of the way. We've got all the bling on it. We got our manager. There's the two customers. And. Let me get the little novelty piece off of here and we will remove the top now this is a this is a white pearl from duplicolor it's uh, made for Honda so I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera but it's got a up close it's got a really nice pearl finish to it and then back here in the back we got our movers and if you look real close down there you can see I had to put a little bit of blue sticky tack a little blue tack on there to keep them upright we got a piano back there that was strapped down we got the scratch built toolbox and let's see we got the spare tire back there complete with a little bit of weathering nothing major just a little bit of light scuff marks 
They even got a little, little scuff marks right there from where they bump and slide and all this. So, like I said, that's <clears throat> the bottom is all clad, uh, just dull aluminum. And the little ramp gate right there, that is uh, polished aluminum from all clad. And it's got a much nicer shine to it. And so, oh, back here on the back here on the truck, I forgot to show you the engine. Like I said, it's not the it's not the engine I wanted, but it does have an engine in it just to just to be able to complete the build. I got that out of my scrap box. It's a Hemi dragster motor, and just for just for the sake of getting it through the the build completion uh, that's it I hope y'all like it I had a lot of fun and I'm going to show you the the new body that I'm trying to get prepared in time for hope it don't snow I doubt I'm going to finish it in time because there's a lot of work that needs to go into this I've already got the firewall fixed up i'd started to on this one but then i realized that i'm just gonna i'm just wasting my time now i had to go in here let's see all this molding right here all that's brand new i had to redo that now this right here all this molding right up in here from here around that is uh sixty thousandths half round styrene from evergreen and then this drip rail right here is brand new. I had to, I had to add, re add that once everything got sanded and the panel lines rescribed. So then I had to go in here and clean all this up, and that'll get straightened out here. But like I said, I've had the flu. Then I had a relapse. So I've been in kind of rough shape. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but I'm trying to I'm trying to work my way through it. It's not easy. But uh let me show you the new uh the new things that I've got right here that are these these right here are 2.2 uh millimeter uh, jewels but now these are much smaller so I'll be able to really pack them on there these are uh, 1.3 millimeter so these are these are super tiny these are made for fingernails so we'll try to get those on once we get the paint and everything but <clears throat> I may enter this in a contest if this one is not finished in time. But uh, if it wins, I doubt it. But uh, it is what it is, folks. It's, uh, it's not really built to, to be a show winner. It's just built as a conversation piece. And I'll be taking it to the show just, just for the fun of it. And uh, I don't care if it wins. I, I'm, this, I'm there to have a good time, folks. So, with that being said, I hope y'all really enjoyed this. I worked kind of hard on it uh, through my work schedule. I, I knew it was going to be tough because uh, working the way I work, it, it's, uh, it's kind of hard. But I, I put in a whole lot of extra effort on this one because I really, I really enjoy the USAC group builds. And I'm... I'm really not a member of the USAC uh, team, so to speak. And the reason being is because of my work schedule. I don't have time to put out the content that is required. and uh, But I still enjoy doing the group builds. And this is my first, this is my first USAC group build. 
So folks, uh, y'all take care. God bless and have a happy week and act like somebody. See y'all.